Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerlay and welcome to my channel. I promised you during the quarantine, I would keep finding different ways that you can make money. And I'm sure by now you're getting bored. So if you haven't started finding a way to make money online, maybe today's video will help you out. I found this one to be fascinating. In fact, I may start a second channel doing this myself. If I do, I'll keep you informed and let you know how it goes. But basically you could easily, and I mean that easily make a hundred dollars a day making no videos of your own not showing your face if you don't want to you can if you want but you don't have to and you're going to basically remake other people's videos and it's it's really legal um actually i wasn't sure about this when i heard about it i didn't think it was legal i did a little bit of research and it is because people making their own youtube channels they have the option whether or not whether or not to let people share their videos so if you mark it that nobody can share it and somebody does then it's illegal but if you mark it that they can share it anybody you've made it public anybody who wants to can share it then it's legal for them to take it and use it so that's where it becomes legal and if you have a channel and you don't want people taking your content then make sure you mark it so that they can't share it all right so how do we do this um let's go ahead and get started First of all, I want to show you where people have made money compiling other people's videos. For instance, let's look up 10 cute puppies, top 10 cute puppies. Here are some videos that people compiled. They went out and took other people's uh, cute puppy videos and they compiled it. And here somebody took 10. They get, came up with a really cute thumbnail, a uh, really cute little title, very basic. And they right here in the last two years have had 2 million views. Now, the next one says the top 10 dog breeds that have the cutest puppies, 2 million views. Um, this one's been up about three years. Let's find something that maybe has more views in a shorter amount of time. Okay. Let's go to top 10 scariest movies. That's something people might look up. And here, the first one has 22 million views in, in five years. This one's just in 10 months, 22 million subscribers, 1 million views. All right. Well, you're probably thinking, well, how do people make money? Basically, when you get monetized, and I've got a video up above here about how to get monetized, you have to be monetized, and then people will put their ads on your videos, and then you start to make money. Each video has what we call a CPM. It's um, how much money you make per thousand views. It really depends on what the topic is. The lowest amount that you can make on a CPM for a thousand views is roughly $3 or an average of $3. That's low. I have a couple videos making $27, $28 um, per thousand views because of the niche that it's in. Okay. It's very competitive. Something like this probably wouldn't be as competitive. So the pay is going to be a lot smaller, but let's go with $3. Okay. Let's say you make $3 per thousand views. That means you have a video that's making $3 per thousand views. If you get a million views, that's $3,000. So let's go up here and do the math. 22 times 3,000 would be $66,000 that this video has brought in because of how many views, 23 million views. And they brought that in within five years, but $66,000 just on this video that somebody compiled. They went and did a little bit of work. They found 10 scary horror movies. They found some little clips. They put them together into a video, got a catchy name, and there you go and it brought in 23 million views. Now, one of the key things that you have to do, you can't just go find videos and you can't just take them because they have to have be videos where they said, yes, you can share it. Look at this little filter over here. You see that? You wanna hit the filter and right here it says Creative Commons. That means anybody who has marked that is allowing you to take their videos and reuse them. So let's go ahead and hit Creative Commons. Now, anything that pops up, after you hit Creative Commons, these are all the videos that you're allowed to take them and share them. Now, obviously, there's uh, 10 Best Survivor movies, top 10 Halloween movies. You can go in and maybe say the top five Halloween movies. You could take some from this one, um, some from another one. You don't want to completely copy somebody else's video because then it's just the same video. But maybe you can find... 10 different people that compiled Halloween movies and then take one from each and compile your own. Give it a catchy name. Give it a catchy thumbnail on the front that's going to help it 
people click it and want to view it and then start getting your views. It's really important for you to pick topics. We call it niches that people are looking for. And you're probably thinking, well, how do I do that? You can go to Google Trends and Google Trending on YouTube and it'll tell you what have people been searching for. Well, lately, Kim, Kim Jong-un, we don't know if he's missing. We don't know if he's sick. We don't know if he's died. And a lot of people are searching for that. You could do something catchy. That's a news worthy, something that's out there right now that everybody's searching for. And you could find um, all the conspiracy theories about where is Kim and then put all those conspiracy theories together. You can find those conspiracy theories right here on YouTube. So let's look for conspiracy uh, 10 top let's see 10 top theories about i forgot there let's go back yep un un all right let's look that up and see if there's more things about it all right i escaped north korea um here it says it's explained 10 mind blowing facts about Kim Jong. So maybe you can put stuff together there. And again, you want to filter it and make sure that you can share it. Okay. But that's just an idea where you could use uh, conspiracy theories. There's lots of those going around. Another trend um, you might look up is uh, funny videos. A lot of people like funny videos. You could pick up funny baby videos, uh, funny toddler videos. You could create uh, funny animal videos but here watch and try to stop laughing super funny videos this one's it's a compilation somebody put it together two years ago and it has 59 million views now in two years let's uh, round that up to 60 times two this video in two years has made a hundred and twenty thousand dollars and that's only if we're using that lowest number it's probably higher than that. I don't have any videos running at that low. Like I said, um, mine are a lot higher. Um, but here, babies do the funniest things. People love to watch this stuff and they watch it over and over and over again. And that's all you have to do is learn how to compile the videos. Now you might say, well, how do you do that? I have a video at the end that will tell you how to upload a video and then how to monetize a video. I'm going to give you the rules on how to monetize, how to upload, and then you're going to need to learn how to edit a video. You can use a editing software tool called iMovie. It's free, or you can use the one that I use below. It's called Camtasia. I had to make a one-time purchase for it. I've had it for three years now. I've never even had to upgrade it, and it does everything I need. I can put all my video snippets together, all the parts that I want. I can put them together. You need to make sure your videos are in an MP format when you start messing with them and there's free converters out there I know this is all starting to sound confusing but it's not really if I can do it anybody can do it but you put them together in Camtasia or iMovie and then you compile it into one big video and then you upload it to YouTube and I've got a video on how to upload to YouTube do a little bit of Googling, do your homework, learn how to do it and it might take you I'm gonna say about two hours to come up with a compiled video probably a good two hours because by the time you want to find everything put your little snippets together and make the video and get it uploaded and you've got it ready to go let me show you somebody who has made a large channel in just compiling videos his name is evan carmichael and this man he this is his one channel that's doing the best it has over two million subscribers and look at some of his topics down here Everything is from other people. Stop watching Netflix, okay? Um, he's not putting it together. He's got quotes and things from Oprah and maybe from some other people. Um, everything he does, um, he has the top 10. I know he has a whole playlist on the top 10. There they are. Top 10, seven ways to stop procrastinating. Uh, Bernstein's 10 rules, quit your job, 10 top reasons. Uh, 10 rules on, what's this last one? Cock. I don't even know who that is. Um, Corcoran's 10 rules. It must be a sports person. I don't know who it is. Uh, quit your job, to seven reasons why you should. But he's got a whole playlist on that. And he uses other people's videos and he compiles them. And he's got lots and lots of views. If you can see 400,000, 376,000. I mean, these are just um, other people's compiled videos. And look here to the right. If you go to... Um, 
his main page you can see he has more than one channel this is his top channel like i said but he's got like nine different channels so every channel features the other channels on top of that you can really get, get um make a lot of money if you start doing this and his other channels are basically the same way he's 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 featuring himself on the other channels instead of other people and that's how you make money now what about I was talking about niches and you might say, well, what do you mean by niches? What are some popular things? I, some of the popular things, if you go back to the trending, um, you can start digging in and finding out if things are trending, but some of the things that trend anyway are fitness. Maybe you can do a video about fitness, um, flops, something like that. Conspiracy theory, puppies, um, funny, baby videos, um, sport highlights that are really, those are really big gaming. I know somebody that made a sports channel on just how to improve your jump. That was all it is. I can't remember off the top of my head right now what the name of the channel was. I'm, I apologize on that. But I remember looking at the channel thinking, oh my gosh, all he's doing over and over is teaching you how to be a better jumper. And think about, you know, little boys that are starting to play basketball and they want to be, you know, like Michael Jordan and they want to jump real high. They're Googling that and they want to learn how to jump. His whole entire channel was about jumping. And so you can, you can go to, you know, pick up things from his channel and other people's videos about jumping and then put the 10 best techniques on how to improve your jump. And there you have compiled other people's information. So does that make sense? So you're not really compiling what is compiled. You're compiling, let's do that. Um, what's out there. So let's not do top 10. Um, how to improve your jump okay for basketball so this is stuff that's not compiled yet okay and there are three tips higher jumps today how to improve your jumps how to instantly jump and you're going to go in there and see some of the best jumps and maybe you're putting the 10 best tips together and then you always want to go over here where it says filter and you want to hit creative commons you always have to re hit that every time you do a new search okay because just because I go to a new topic, I have to hit that again and tell it those are the only ones I want. Look at all the videos that I can go into that are telling me it's okay to take a clip out of their video. I'm allowed to use it because they have their video channel marked. So what do you have to do? One, you have to upload or find the videos that you want to compile. So you have to decide what your topic is. What is that niche that I'm looking for for the one video? Then you want to go out and compile them, okay? Um, you can do the top five, top seven, top 10, whatever you want, and then come up with a new title. I like to search it first to see what other people are, are naming there. So if you have the top 10, um, top 10, um, let's see, let's do a different one here. Top 10 baby videos, funny baby videos, top 10 baby videos. There you go. So you want to call it something else. So this is what other people are calling it. It has top 10 funny babies compilation, top 10 funniest videos of all time. Try not to laugh with funny baby videos. So you want to come up with something different and not exactly the same as theirs. Okay. So come up with a really new catchy title and then come up with a really good thumbnail. These are cute. They went ahead and did the thumbnail with the babies on them. Okay. Um, and they go right in these are movable um, thumbnails you can do some that don't like this one down here but come up with a catchy thumbnail if you don't know how to make thumbnails because that's another thing you're like well now you want me to make a video now you want me to make thumbnails on top of that you can go to fiverr.com and they will make your thumbnail for you it's like five bucks ten bucks somebody have somebody else make it for you if, if that is making you um kind of scared I'm doing the whole project and I have the link below for that as well if you want somebody to compile your videos for you maybe you can go and search and get all those snippets together go to fiverr.com find somebody in there that will do it for you now you're going to start paying money and it's no longer free but you can google you can figure out how to do it yourself or you can go hire somebody to put it together for you I think this is a great way to make money. If you're bored right now and you don't want to sit there and come up with a channel idea, this is perfect because people are looking for stuff like this, especially right now to entertain themselves. They're bored and they're finding themselves, you know, just scrolling on YouTube, looking for something to entertain them. And this is the way to do it. Now, before you leave, I ask you one little favor. 
please subscribe to my channel i promised you that i would start making videos during this quarantine time on how you can make some money um, once this fizzles out we'll get back into um, talking about some other things on how to build your business for those of you that are working on building your business but once a week i do a video on how to make money online and hopefully this is something that you can do and in my opinion this is the one i would pick because this sounds like a lot of fun and you can make a lot of money if you just hit that one video that goes viral you've you've got money coming in even after the quarantine you can get back to work leave your channel sit there and stop making videos and if people keep um, looking for them and searching for them and playing them you keep making money and that's when it becomes passive income and you have fun doing it so get to work find some of those super good niches and start making those top 10 videos and make some money until i see you again have a good one and stay safe